and welcome to the Manifest from Taco M Kitchen. Not anymore. Hi, and welcome to the Metallica Mom Kitchen. My name is Andrea, and I'm an Optavia health coach. Happy Tuesday, July 25th. I hope you all got online and ordered your new Optavia foods. I'm going to be reviewing two of them today. One of them is going to take me a few hours to prepare. I'm a huge fan of cutting down the work that's necessary when it comes to preparing foods. I'm not afraid of work. In fact, I welcome it. But when it comes to food, I have to be a little bit careful because I do have a lifelong food addiction that I've been battling, usually not putting a lot of emphasis on the preparation or the anticipation of food is best for me. Maybe only one or two meals a week do I make into a special thing. I just try to keep the rest of it as fuel, okay? I am going to be preparing right now the velvety hot chocolate, which is for all of you Synthroid users out there, all of you thyroid problem people, this is a soy-free product. Both of these products, which the other one, by the way, is the Mocha Blast Shake, both of these products are 14 grams of protein each. Yay. Both of them are one gram of fat or less. Both of them have 14 grams of carbohydrate or less. So the macro balance is perfect for weight loss. It sets up your body to produce energy efficiently. I am going to be preparing the velvety hot chocolate for later, and then after I do that, I'm going to be preparing the Mocha Blast shake for me to drink slash eat now. I am going to be emptying a sachet of the velvety hot chocolate into a tall, clear cup, and I'm going to be brewing one cup of Da Bomb coffee. I'm actually going to do it at the lowest setting so that I don't have as much volume of liquid. This is gonna give this fueling a little bit of jazz with a bit of caffeine and some flavor. That's the sound of life coming out of my Keurig machine. Do you hear it? So I brewed one little itty bitty cup of coffee. I'm gonna be pouring it into here and I'm gonna blend it with my immersion blender. I would love to eat, drink, eat, drink this now. It's, oh, it smells so good. This is hot chocolate made with coffee. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it into an ice cube tray and I'm gonna freeze it. I'm not gonna use this to pour. I'm gonna go ahead and use this to pour because it's got a lip on it and I think it's gonna be make it easier to pour it into these little ice cube trays. Now, I chose this one because it's got the silicone bottom on it and it'll be easier to pop them out. I'm gonna leave these in here for a solid four or five hours because they need to really freeze solid. So if you've watched my channel for any period of time, you know that when you use the immersion blender, you're aerating something, which adds space <laughs> to your product. If I had allowed this to sit in the cup while it was cooling off, it would have come back to its original size. So I did have a little bit of overflow here, but it didn't overflow over the side of the ice cube tray. That's okay. I'm actually gonna leave it out on the counter until it's room temperature. Sometimes putting hot things into the freezer makes for weird things to happen to the things, like they don't freeze properly. So I'm gonna let it come to room temperature on the counter and then I'll put it in the freezer. While this is dirty and while this is dirty, I'm gonna go ahead and make my shake that I'm gonna have now. Make sense? Yes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use regular ice. Yes, I'm still using my uh, little ice cube trays. I've got some plain water here. Do I need to measure it? I'm not going to. I'm gonna put about that much. Mocha Blast shake. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what brand this, um, it looks a little, anyway. I don't even know what brand this immersion blender is. It only cost me about $19.95 at Target. I bought it about two or three years ago, maybe two years ago, after my KitchenAid finally took a dump. <laughs> Speaking of shape, my KitchenAid immersion blender was the bomb. Everything needs to die at some point. This one kind of sucks. It's like not so great. So one of these days I'm gonna get myself a KitchenAid again. Anyway, 
This is the Mocha Shake Blast, Mocha Blast Shake from Optavia with water and ice. That's it. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this glass so that you can see how thick, wow, and creamy it really is. And look at, <laughs> I just made a mess. That's okay. I always make a mess. I'm going to use these big thick straws, okay? That tastes like a chocolate shake. I like it. These shakes, in comparison to the older formula, are less sweet, for sure. They are just as creamy. There is a stevia taste to it if you don't mind stevia or if you can't pick out stevia. Then go for it because these have less preservative. They have little to no artificial coloring, little to no artificial flavor, very little sugar alcohols, just a lot more natural. They've got probiotics worked right into the formula, but some people do taste stevia. I am somebody who tastes stevia. Does it really bother me? No. Am I gonna get this one? Yes. But this is completely 14 grams of protein. It's like a chicken breast, <laughs> you know? Or at least, you know, three quarters of a chicken breast. Instead of eating three quarters of a chicken breast without cooking, and without making a mess in your kitchen, and without having to lug, you know, a knife and a fork and a plate with you, and without the cost, three quarters of a chicken breast costs a lot more than this. Um, and without the fat, by the way, you could just have this. And it has more vitamins and minerals than a chicken breast does. So think about doing this instead, all right? So now I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Next time you see me, we're going to be popping the velvety hot chocolate and coffee ice cubes out of the tray. And I think I'm going to be putting those ice cubes into a glass of almond milk. I think. All right, let's see what happens. I'll see you in about four or five hours. I'm back. It's about four hours later. And I've got this. The small setting on my coffee pot, my Keurig, actually filled up one ice cube tray perfectly because then it settled down in there. So this is one fueling plus a small cup of coffee. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of a rinse with, with some warm water just to loosen those babies up in there because they're really, they're really frozen solid in there. So I just let water run on the underside of it, not on that side of it. And they're coming out beautifully. They're all out and they're all here. Look how cute. So you can just eat these as they are, you know, sort of like one at a time bonbons. These are bonbons. If you don't have sensitive teeth, which I do, ha, these are bonbons. So cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Cute. And you have to say cute like that. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be putting some flaxseed milk in here. I put them into a cup. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so I've got probably maybe a little more than a cup of flaxseed milk. If you're in the weight loss five in one phase, then maybe you should, you know, measure your milk, whether it's flaxseed or almond or whatever. All right, I'm going to get another straw. I'm using a lot of straws today. Push it down in there. And that's the hot chocolate made with coffee, frozen into ice cubes, and then I poured flaxseed milk over it. Now, flaxseed milk the unsweetened kind. Unfortunately, I wasn't home for a couple days and my husband bought the traditional kind. Normally, I would do the unsweetened kind, okay? Uh, it's only 25 calories per cup, two and a half grams of fat. Uh, it, it's a gorgeous milk. You need to drink this milk. It's a gorgeous milk, okay? One carb, it's fantastic. If you don't like almond milk or cashew milk or if you just want to change, go for the flaxseed milk if you can find it. This is the only brand that I've ever seen, is the Good Karma. Um, and pour it over your hot chocolate ice cubes. So this is your hot chocolate bonbons. Yay, okay? 
My name is Andrea and I'm an Optavia health coach. If you would like any more information about these meals, the program, anything like that, all you have to do is hit me up. All of my information is below. These meals are on sale now. Went on sale as of Monday, July 24th. So if you'd like anything, just email me, tmetallicamom at gmail.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.